restream issues. Good morning, everybody. You guys are like the. Well, go ahead. Carmen. Carmen says. You guys are like the whipped cream. <laughs> Aww. It's <laughs> so early in the morning. This will be really, really interesting. Yeah. I mean, we're good. We're good. Restream is like. trying to take us down, but we're back. Restream is like, I'm still sleeping. Right, right. <laughs> Why are you up so early? <laughs> Uh, good morning, Stephen Wiggs. Good morning, Alec. Good, good morning, morning, Katie. All oh. un unidentified Facebook users. <laughs> good morning, good morning. We seen trying to take us down, Katie, but we're, well, we got back up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. We're, we're, we are stable. We are stable. We're stable. Yes. <laughs> we're stable. Repeat, we are stable. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia. She made me more awake than some. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are so excited to be here with you for this week challenge. It's going to be creating new profiles. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulgence Henry. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you guys. So get ready. This is the way we will like to have the format. We're going to start designing for you, teaching you how to create the new profile, and then we will be answering comments. However, feel free to do, you know, write your comments as you usually do, and then we will get to them at the end when we design the profiles. Mm -hmm. So the... Screen that you're seeing right now, we actually decided we're going to teach you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to teach you how to do the designs that we're going to show you right now. And then you can design it by yourself, changing colors, adding the, uh, exporting your profile, et cetera, and et cetera. Anything else? No, let's do it. Yes. Okay, so we're going to show you right here. We're gonna, you just saw the waiting screen. We're going to teach you how to do that, as well as this screen, which will be your solo screen. Mm -hmm. And then here is going to be the one for your guests or for you with your name on it and then we're going to have the interview window mm -hmm. this one and the closing screen and we're going to add music to it i'm going to show it to you now mm -hmm. yes okay so here we go all right the first thing we're going to do is teach you how to arrange your interface for designing 
Okay, so we're gonna go into demo mode, and oh my gosh, it's so early in the morning. All right, so early in the morning, <laughs> and um, and then so we're gonna go to demo mode, and then but before we show them how to enter, um, let's go into live demo mode, right? Uh, before we arrange interface, right? Uh, right now, what you're seeing here in the scenes panel, right? You're seeing multiple folders here, right? But if you want to start from scratch and create a brand new profile. Go to the Ecamm Live uh, main menu here. So you have Ecamm Live Edit Profile. From here, when you're not live, you can select New Blank Profile. And then I'll create a new blank profile with no folders. So you could start from scratch and have start your scenes from scratch. And then you also have the option of renaming the profile, right? So we could actually do it while we're live, but we're not going right to now. do so. No, no. <laughs> Rename current profile so you can name it to whatever you want to call it. So that's how you create a brand new profile from scratch. That's right. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. And so, you know what? Um, we are stream deck. We need to have a little closer so that we can come, come hither. Come here. Come hither. <laughs> Miss Stream Deck <laughs> to do all of this um, greatness. Okay. So, we are going to, uh, as Folden just mentioned, that's how you create a new profile. Now, I'm going to teach you how to arrange your interface. Okay. So, for designing, when you press the command N, it brings your window, right? We already have ours designed but you can design it however you want to so this window moves okay so you can design it to one up here however is easiest for you that looks good there though it does <laughs> yeah whatever is easiest for you and then the color picker you can move it and then you can have your scenes and your overlay so mm -hmm. when you're designing you can have everything that you need. Yeah. For example, if you are going to write your text, right, your name. So I'm going to say Fulgens. Fulgens. Good morning. <laughs> and then right here, you have the color. So it's really easy. You just have to click and it will change your colors, right? Really easy. Have it there for you. Say we wanted to change the family um, we're going to teach you how to do that as well. You can select building blocks, as you can see here, all the way, right? We have different profiles, and you can then add the family to it and then quickly select the one that you want, okay? So we're going to go, we're going to teach you how to add your um, family font and how to create your branding color palette. Now, before we go into that, are there any questions? Any questions? Yeah. And then these these are pretty much what you need for the design, right? Your your text overlay panel, your color picker, your scenes, and your overlays. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. So, okay. So, no questions? Let's see. Maybe 20 seconds later, <laughs> you know. A little latency. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. This is, that's great. Okay. So, let's go to um, command N. And here, so we're going to teach you how to add your family font. So, if you... Right here, I miss the stream deck. I miss the stream deck with this, with this right here. I'm gonna move the window just to show you guys. Oh, there's the window. I mean, there's mm -hmm. the question. Okay, so here we go, you guys. So you see how in here it says collection and then family and then typeface. We're going to click on the plus sign. And in here, we're just gonna name it, what? Ecamm mm -hmm. challenge. challenge. Okay. You and can't then, design challenge, actually. Well, <laughs> we just leave it there. And then, okay, so then now we're going to add the families, right? So we're going to click on all fonts. And then in here, you're going to choose whichever font you want that you use most for whatever it is that you're designing. So I don't know what Al Bayan is, so let's just go for it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Oh, but John. Okay. So we're going to go into Ecamm and then we're going to go back into all fonts. And where's Al? All the way in the top. Al. Where right do you right go? up there. The third one. Right up there. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to drag it to, into Ecamm Challenge. Okay. If we click on Ecamm Challenge, now you will see that it's there, right? That's the only font that you have and it's bold. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add another one. So Fulgens, choose one. Well, standard. Let's pick something <laughs> standard like a Helvetica, right? We can, we can, we can. Uh, we're safe to choose that one. Okay. 
Helvetica. And here we go. Helvetica. And if you guys want to import the entire typeface, right. then you drag the folder. But if you just want to have a specific, like regular or bold or light, then you just choose that one, right? Mm -hmm. So you do it one by one. So you're just going to go regular. You go into Ecamm Challenge, light, Ecamm Challenge, and bold, Ecamm Challenge. And you click there, and it will be Helvetica with the three typefaces that you like. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to click on cancel, go back. And are there any questions before we move on? Any questions? Mm -hmm. So Carmen has a question, but I believe we just answered that, right? Carmen asked, where can we find fonts? Okay. So yeah, so Carmen, to uh, find fonts, the ones that we usually go to is the fonts.com. But the fonts are the, are already in this in your system and your Mac uh, as just standard mm -hmm. will are the ones that are inside of Ecamm. Right. But if you want to import different ones, for example, because you purchased one, mm -hmm. then you can just install it in the system and then it will appear inside of Ecamm. Right. And as Anna mentioned, so that's da font d a f o n t dot com, and also Google has a Google Fonts family yes. as well. That you can have. There's no paywall for that, right. so neither of them have a paywall. I like Montserrat by Google. Google mm -hmm. has a, yeah. I don't know if they make it, but Google yeah. has it. So definitely check out Google Fonts. Yes, mm -hmm. that's that. So, okay, so any other questions? Google Fonts, yes, yes. we'll talk about mm -hmm. it. Yes, great. Okay, so now we're going to go back into Command N, and now we're going to teach you how to, let's bring the window back up there. And now we want to see you guys how you arrange your window. Okay, so send us pictures as uh, the comments. Um Mention there, mention in the comments so that we can see it. Now we're gonna we're gonna choose we're gonna do the color palette, okay? So as you can see here, this is ours for building blocks. We're just gonna move it here so you guys can see it. So this is our for building blocks. Right here we have other ones. So we <laughs> we created a Fulgen 3.9 <laughs> for the video that we did, and then we have ENN. We have officially unofficial when I design for customers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there are the different profiles that we have. Now we're going to create one. There is the gear. So you're going to click on the gear and then click on new. Okay. It will automatically uh, name it, right? So you're going to go back in the um, icon and rename it. And then we're going to rename it. You come challenge. Yes. The game design challenge. Actually, oh my for those gosh. Who are, who are, for those of you who are viewing, that is the hashtag. Jesus <laughs> Lord. Okay. Okay. Renamed. <laughs> Renamed. So now we're going to add the colors. This is really fun for me now, like, because you just have to drag it, right? So here are all of the regular, all of the colors that we have in the palette. So now you just have to drag up, right? Drag up. Mm -hmm. And what it's, it's what it's doing, it's like labeling each color mm -hmm. based on what you label the, the the color palette, right? The color folder, right? So it's Ecamm Design Challenge, so Design Challenge, Design Challenge 2, 3, so on and so forth. Yeah, and you know, it can get a little... Um, when you're designing, you have a lot of oranges there, right? So if you go and you can uh, double click it, and then you add no. lighter, lighter one, right. or or just rename or, the whole thing, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Or like accent, full accent color, or you know something like that, so right. that it's easier for you to, right? Um, okay, so then this one that's unnamed, you just remove it from here, from the little minus. Okay, now you have your color palette that you can design. So here's how it looks, you guys. Here's how it looks. We're going to go, we're going to go and arrange it the way we like it. And the color picker is going to be right there. Okay. Here it is. So we have the colors, we have the font, so we have Ecamm Challenge. We can rename it, right? So we can yeah. name it the sign so that Fulgens doesn't get a little, mm -hmm. a little, whatever. whatever. Go. <laughs> a little, a little whatever. Okay, so we have the Ecamm Design Challenge and the color palette. We have the family, um, the collection that is Ecamm Design Challenge. And now anything with design, we just have to go and click it. That's it. Okay, and then, um, okay, any questions before we move on? Uh, did I miss anything on this on this side or no? 
Uh, no. And then here's a question from Bishop Oliver. Good morning, Bishop. Where did you get the f- colors from? Got it. Okay, so first of all, let's delete this text that's there. I don't know. <laughs> it, just, it just made it there. Right. Let's delete. Okay, so the colors, we get it from, for example, uh, when you first open it, you will see, I believe is, wait a second. I think you will get this one, right? You will get that one. The colors that we have at the bottom that you see right here are the colors that I have imported, that we have imported when we're doing uh, designs, right? Mm-hmm. right? So, for example... If you wanted to get the color that is on the background here, right here, you just click the color picker here and then you bring it over. It's going to click and you see how it changed. Let me move this right here. How it changed right here. That's the color that we have. So Mm -hmm. now you just have to add that color, drag Drag it. Drag and drop. Mm Mm-hmm to the regular one and there it is right and then from there you can that's where you create your collections and do all your stuff yeah you just accumulate it over time right? yes and, and you then, can, yeah. yeah and then i was just, just gonna say like that's one way and then there's another way you can enter the actual color code and yes. so the different ways to do it mm-hmm. yeah so you could do this with anything for example you see a color that you like uh, on google and you are here it could be kino it could be uh, photoshop any application pages you click the color picker and then you do the same thing on another, it could be Google, it could be whatever else that you have, mm-hmm. uh, it, that you like the color, and you import it. It's awesome. It's really good. I am a color collector, as you guys can see. I collect <laughs> colors. <laughs> anyway, okay, so anything else that we need to do before we start designing? I think, I think we're good to go. Okay. David Hunt says, can you zoom in? I think we did that, David. <laughs> yeah, L- let us know. Let us know. You know, I'm going to, um, we we have the, uh, you guys, it was so early in the morning. <laughs> so yeah. early in the morning. Stream, we are. stream Deck is not very <laughs> stream, stream decalor right now. So. Yeah, but you know what? Let me see if I can do this. Wait a second. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can do this right now with you guys. Is it, was it ENN? Let's see. No. Stream Deck is still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you, we're just gonna do it manually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's gonna do it manually. Okay, so let's see. Is there okay, so we already did the four. Okay. How many scenes should I make with this challenge? Most of all right. So Sammy, we're gonna answer all those questions right after, okay? So stay stay tuned. Okay, so Fulgens, let's design. Let's design. Yes, okay. So you couldn't wait. I saw your fingers. <laughs> I see his, his fingers were like doop, doop, doop. go for it. <laughs> no, take it away. Um, so we currently have um you know, are we going to go through what we, we went through what we have here in Ecamm Challenge Profile 1, right? Mm-hmm. And we're going to, are we re- we're going to recreate these or um, or create like a, a stand, another version of this? Yeah, we can create another version mm-hmm. of it. And this actually, you guys, is going, these templates are going to be released for you. So mm-hmm. you will have this templates, but we will love for you to try it because when you're trying, when you start designing, that's when you will be able to add your own mm-hmm. flair and make it yeah. yours. Yeah, for sure. Right. So uh, for those of you just tuning in, Anna gave a, a, a walkthrough of the current scenes that we have here. Right. So we have five scenes in this profile. We have the waiting screen. OK, so on the waiting screen, we have uh, a, a text overlay with, you know, we, with some transparency so you can see the camera behind it. And we add text and a timer. Right. So that is a, a waiting screen and you could design it any way you want. But we're going to show you how to create a standard waiting screen using the same elements. And this is the solo. Right. Using also text overlays, text boxes and a camera overlay. Right. The same thing goes for here. Solo and uh, lower third. Uh, which we could probably bring ourselves on here. Hi. <laughs> right. And interview. <laughs> right. Just, my focus book is there again. Oh, boy. <laughs> and what you like, we'll probably like a little squeeze in there. And the closing screen, right? And the closing screen, there are different ways you can do it, but we'll show you how to do this one, right? Mm-hmm. So let's close out this folder for now and start a new folder just remember if you want a brand new profile if you go to profile and select new blank profile right you're not going to see any folders there you're going to create it from scratch so that's if we're that's as if we're on a blank profile and you're going to see a new group we mm-hmm. should we should change the screen so i can see our face yeah actually yeah why did we close here okay 
We're yeah. back here, right? Yeah, and, and one thing that we should um, mm -hmm. we should keep in mind is that when you create a new profile, there's going to be a new right. profile. If you had any any songs, anything like the ones that will that will um, transfer will be the ones that came standard with Ecamm. But right. if you have any songs that you have imported to into another profile, you will have to import it again. That's a good. That. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to that. Uh, in interview mode, right? So mm -hmm. make sure you, because when you bring on a guest, make sure that, you know, you have it set it to the view that you want because a new profile will default to maybe host, host view, yeah. right? So you want them, you want the guest to see the broadcast, go into your system preferences in Ecamm and make sure it sets that to uh, broadcast view, right? right? Same thing with virtual camera, just double check to make sure that your virtual camera is turned on. So if you're in Zoom or something like that, you want to use Ecamm, make sure that the virtual camera is on. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one thing that I don't know if we even mentioned this, but you guys know all of it. We're designing all of this inside of Ecamm. We are not importing anything. Mm -hmm. Everything is native to Ecamm. Yes. So, um, yes, yeah, so you guys can get started with awesome designs for your pre-recorded content or your live streams yes. right inside of Ecamm. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have new group here, right? And then we're going to name this new group so this new group is under the scenes panel not the overlays panel right because we started a new profile there are no folders here right so this is a new scene which is going to be under a folder and then in that folder we'll have the specific scenes with corresponding overlays okay mm -hmm. so this will be ecam design challenge one right so for day one okay so under this folder now we could click the plus sign right maybe we can um Zoom in for David <laughs> right? and select new empty scene. So the new empty scene will be assigned to Ecamm design challenge one, right? So we can call this waiting, waiting screen, right? Cause this is where we're going to have a countdown, right? And then now, so we're done with our scenes panel for now, mm -hmm. right? So now let's go into our overlays panel here and there are two ways you can do it. You can uh, press the T here. For new text overlay or a shortcut is to select press command and end and, and now bring up text and overlay speaking panel. of shortcuts you know you guys said to create uh, a folder in your scenes panel or in your overlays panel you do shift command n and that also creates the whole folder there thank you anna yes thank yes. you <laughs> and speaking of uh folder right let's take it a step for let's let's take a step back right so before we create the waiting screen text overlay, right? We want to start organizing from scratch. This way that will save you a lot of time and then that will save you from um, Anna, the text overlay police coming and knocking on your door, right? So, <laughs> so, so here, right? We're going to, before we um, add a new text overlay, let's add a new group, okay? So you can organize your overlays in, within that group. Try shift command. Oh, let's try that. Yeah, let's shift, try that. N. Let's try that. Shift. shift. Command N. Ha. Ah. Awesome. 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 All right. So this will be, uh, we can label this waiting screen uh, background. Right? Okay. So now that we have that, we can actually add the new text overlay that we want. Right? And this is going to be a text box that we're going to create and have it fill the entire screen. Because this is going to be like a, a, a camera filter, if you will. Okay. So normally, I just say, you just type in a few letters like B, uh, B, K, G, N, D, like short for background. And you select background, right? And now let's bring the color picker back up. And bring the opacity of the font down to zero. Because we don't want that font. We just want the box. Okay, and now what we did here, notice that this is highlighted. This is for your background, right? So this is corresponding to your background color. If you unhighlight it, now you're corresponding to your text, okay? So unhighlighted is for the text, highlighted is for the background. Very important. Okay, uh, corners, corners, this is if you have if you want to mess around with the corners here, that's what this is for. But for the purpose of a text background, just to fill out the entire screen, we're not going to touch that, right? So this can be set to nothing, 
right? So you could leave that to zero. Margin, we want, we might, we may want to play with it because sometimes, you know, a few of you may have like some issues like stretching this across the screen. So this is where the margin will come into play. But right now, let's see if we can make this fit, right? We could set, change the color. I don't know what color. Will we um, change it to? Well, first, mm -hmm. as we tell them how to do this amazingness here, mm -hmm. we're going to go back to our let's building go, blocks. Building right. Back, yeah. Or we can go to Ecamm Design Challenge. Let's because, go. Hey. Right. There and then we'll select an Ecamm orange, right? Yes. Okay. So let's select Ecamm Design Challenge. And now you see you have a solid orange text box, right? And we want to bring the opacity down a little bit because we wanted some transparency to it, right? So let's bring it down to 70%. Let's try 70%. And after that, we're going to select add. All right. So you have this here. So let's see here. If you bring it to the corner, it's a little trick we showed uh, Adrian and Owen. <laughs> Can we clean the interface really quick? Yes. To clean the interface, it's command tilt or command apostrophe. If you're in the US, it's the, the key underneath the escape key, right? If you're somewhere else, I'm sorry, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it's the wiggly line, okay? Right. It's the wiggly line. All right, so it's the, the, the key underneath the escape key, okay? Right, so that cleans the interface. So now we have the text box at the very upper left corner, and then we're gonna attempt to stretch it across the screen. As you notice, right, it's the, 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 the text box is a little too uh, rectangly. So if we bring it in a little bit, and let's try that again. Boom, there you go. That was very simple, that wasn't too hard. And right? it looks, look, it already looking so cool. Right, There's it's already looking cool, it's right? We have like a little rosy, orangey color looking going on here, right? So now we have the background. We're gonna lock it, because we don't want this to move around. We're fine, we're satisfied with this. So we're gonna lock it and then we're gonna move this into waiting screen background. Yes. And there you have it, right? So you have an instant overlay filter for your camera, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now that's done. Uh, Anna, you can jazz it up a little bit with some text overlays, right? And, and before we add the finishing touch of a timer. Timer? Yes. Okay. All right, so text. Okay, so to add text, this is one of the things, one of the tricks that I have found. And you guys, let me know if you cannot hear me well. I moved my <laughs> microphone away. For I think those you of sound you, fine right, right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do for new profiles so that the scene, the, the grid that I'm going to show you guys right now, transfer to all profiles, no matter, you know, new profile, I added to show in all scenes. So I'm going to show you right now. See here, overlays show in all scenes so i add the grid there and then that way i can just drag it down to the background and have it there for for us right so now i'm going to design the the live here we go so i'm going to close this i'm going to open well we're there and then we'll, well, we'll make our source blank yes mm -hmm. so yeah so let me see something yeah i'm gonna leave it there okay so mm -hmm. to make this source blank shift uh oh, shortcut. <laughs> Let me try that again. Shift, Command, B. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then is there is the grid. All right, so we're gonna bring ourselves back up. Right over here. All right, so then we're going to create some text and to make it look really good. So we say the show stars in. You see, I'm gonna use the option key. <laughs> oh yeah cut my head off <laughs> half, oh. half gents <laughs> okay good you feel better <laughs> you feel better full gents it's okay it's good. okay it's all good all right here we go okay so command n to bring the box back up and we're going to say live in or i said join join us in right Remind me, because, you know, we come up with things before we're well, live. You know, and then you can start something different, right? I think it was like join us, and then there was the second line was live. So you had like a series of overlays. Right. So for those of you who are new to text overlays, when we lower the opacity, like Fulgence was just doing, the system remembers it and just comes back with it, mm -hmm. the opacity low. So you just have to, I usually just highlight it and then highlight the text and bring mm -hmm. the opacity all the way up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that works. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and then I'm actually going to drag the white there. Mm -hmm. And then an alternative way is um, right 
on the upper right of the text overlay panel, there's restore default style. So you could click on that as well. But the only thing about restore default style is that it adds a text box, like a background. So okay. you have to uncheck the background. Yeah. So, yeah. But it has that background by default. I'd rather just bring it back. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's easy. Join us in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here we go. So we add it here. And it's going to be white, so it's going to show. Okay. So now this is the amazing grid that our friend Rich Graham made for us. So we're just <laughs> going to drag. And I'm just going to do this. Fulgins can create this without a grid. And so can um, Doc. But <laughs> me. Team, team eyeball. <laughs> team, team <laughs> I eyeball, eyeball food. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients. Okay. Here we go. So join us in. That's but the J is like... Well, that's Jay's like guys. Uh, being exiled over there. But you know, I don't follow rules like that. Like this is amazing <laughs> for me that I have a grid. So let's just let's just leave it like that. Fulgence Henry. Why did Jay gotta be left out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because you have a Jay in your name. Don't mind him. Okay, so here we go. So that's that. If it bothers you guys a little bit too much, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll fix it. But just showing you how this works, right? So then we're going to join us in. I'm gonna put type live. And you see how we have this? I want to see how um, Alvayon looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, he looks good. Bold. And then I'm going to bring him live. Like this. He's kind of cool. Look at him. Yeah, because <clears throat> this, uh, this looks pretty uh, straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, did somebody say that it bothers them? No. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, Terry J. Terry's like, please fix it. You see, it's like there's some OCD, OCDs out there, right? <laughs> Look at this. You guys, how, how do you like this? Eh? That looks good to you? Yeah, it's uh, oh very o OCD friendly now. Is it? Okay. <laughs> yes. Great, great. Okay, so here we go. Join us live. Okay, we have this. This is another thing. So we're going to go back into the overlays panel. We're going to create a folder. folder we're gonna add everything in there mm -hmm. the camera Except, is gonna be right. up mm -hmm. and then that's it all right so we're adding the text in there so that we can have it all great and this is why because for example if we want to try the new feature in ecom 3.9 which is locking in and um a folder and moving it all around the screen we can do this so i'm going to mm -hmm. show you this right now so the new group we're going to call it text and then in here this little link we're gonna click it and make sure that the rest of the layers are unlocked so you can move them and now you can move this anywhere you want to mm -hmm. within the circle so you guys look at this ah, yes pretty cool okay now you can jazz more up because you like doing borders and stuff like that right um right so i uh, the border that you had around the live was pretty cool, right? So we can add a little border to the live here. Let's unlink this and let's go in back into live, right? So the cool feature, a cool feature about Ecamm 3.9, one of my favorite ones is to add a border to your text, right? So here you have border. And before we do that, we have to select background, but we don't want this background, right? But we're going to show you what you can do to um, just show the border, have the border stand out alone, right? We're gonna increase the border here a little bit. And right now you don't see any change because everything is just white color, right? So we're gonna go to background. We're gonna select background like we did before. And now instead of the text, we're gonna decrease the opacity of the background like so. So this way, the border is what remains. Right. And you have this white border and you see it's a little too large. You want you don't you want less space. This is where margin comes in and you decrease the margin. Right. And now you have an instant live overlay. However, however, if you want to have a little bit more flexibility, you design it separately. Yes. Right. So you design your border separately, like a regular text box, and then you add your live and you can move it however you want to and animate it as yes. we're going to do here. Yes. Okay. So there are two different ways to, to do that. 
And that, just like that, it just jazzes it up. That's all CD friendly? I, you know what? For me, I make sure like I, ha I get the vertical snap. So that looks so awesome. It's vertical snapping. It's vertical snapping. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Right? Everything is all. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at the snap. <laughs> look at the snap. Oh, snap. There we go. We're good. We're good there. <laughs> all right. So now we're just going to add the timer. Mm hmm. We can add the timer right here, you guys, right on the overlays panel. Where it says new countdown overlay. And you know what we, are, <laughs> we were wondering? You know how Apple has 941? Uh huh. I wonder what 321 is. Right. My guess is that it's just 321 countdown. I see. Right. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Right. That makes sense. Doing I wonder if that's what it is. Right. Ken okay. Glenn, KD, please confirm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to remove the background. We'll remove so the background, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so currently not in uh, the ECAN Design Challenge folder is uh, a font for the timer. It's highly suggested that you use a fixed width font for your timer. This way, it does just that. The font stays fixed and it's not jumping around, right? It just remains, uh, it, it keeps its uh, parameters, right? Um, I like digital, so we're still like digital. Yeah, See, Anna's does. like going like, yeah, Anna's like, like going like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just feel that digital is for specific things right. and just, yeah, but right. go for it, man. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> all right? And we're going to drag the digital family into Ecamm Design Challenge. So now digital is there, digital hyphen seven mono, right? So we're going to select this. But before we do that, we want to change the, dur the duration, right? So when you add your countdown overlay, you have different options. You have countdown from out of time, countdown to a date time. This is where you actually add your clock for your overlays and a stopwatch, right? But we want to count down for an amount of time, which is what is currently defaulted to. Right. And then we want to bring the duration down. Well, if we're going to stay in the scene, we'll keep it at 10. This way it doesn't jump to the next scene or whatever. But you have all the have other options here as well. Once uh, activating the scene, the timer can auto start. If you don't want to auto start, uncheck this here and go to next scene when finished, because like you want to be hands free, have it uh, go down to zero and it'll go to the next scene. Right. So you have that checked. If not, it will go down to zero, but you have to manually trigger the next scene. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So. You say auto start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we have the countdown timer here. And what we can do is like maybe we could bring this a little higher and bring this a little higher and here, right? Have the timer. Something else that we can do, right? This is fine as is, but you can also add like show starts in. Right. Mm hmm. Okay, and that's how you have your timer. So right now, once this hits zero, it's going to go to the next scene because we have it checked. Go to the next scene when finished, right? Um, and if you didn't have it on auto start and you save, so now you have to hit the play button for it to start manually. But it's great to have an order start. Because right, so you don't have to worry about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're hitting, you do go live, it just automatically starts when you, um, when, when it goes live. Right. So yeah. And this grid, you guys, uh, you know, we mentioned it, this grid is on our Buy Me A Coffee, uh, buymeacoffee.com slash Anna and Folgen. So mm -hmm. you can download this grid for free there and start your designing. If right. You, if you like grids. Right. And, uh, you can add this to text, but, you know, if you want to make sure you can find your timer, mm -hmm. um, let's add another group and just type timer and have the timer in there instead. So you keep it separately so it's easier to find. Mm -hmm. Right. And and you guys have fun with creating the timer because we do want to see what you create. Because remember, this is a challenge and the timer. You can go to the emoji keyboard, right, that we haven't covered yet, but we will show you in a bit. You can go to the emoji keyboard and you can add a timer, right? You can add a clock. You can add different things yeah. to to your um, screen. You can animate it. Mm -hmm. So just get creative with it. Yeah. Okay? And we'll definitely go into more depth on that in a further later this week, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. So we have three folders here. We have the timer, we have the text, and we have the waiting screen background, right? So this is standard, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we have all of our overlays locked, right? So we have the join us live is locked. 
the countdown timer is locked and the background is locked as well, right? So we can, let's see the finished product, right? Because I think we're good for now. Mm -hmm. You have to um, mm -hmm. unhide the unhide mm -hmm. the background. Yep. Of the folder itself. Is locked, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. that. And then we're going to hide our cam link because we don't need this right now. And we're gonna go back to source and select camera. And here is the finished product. Oh, right. Okay. And, uh, and again, you guys, because of the linking feature, if you don't like to have the text in the middle of your face or whatever, you can move it anywhere you want to. The timer is outside of the folder, right? And the and so you will have to include the timer inside it, inside there, the the folder, and just drag it around the screen um, where you want it to be. Right. Okay. Right. So we have 15 minutes to go, and we have questions to answer. So I think we should go through the other scenes and mm -hmm. then just show how the layers. Right. So that then they can do it. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So we have our waiting screen and. The solo um, and solo with lower third, you know. I'm wow. oh, sorry. Let's go full screen, though. Okay. Yes, to All show right. this, how, how it looks. In full All screen. right. And then for those of you who are not familiar with demo mode, you can hit shift command D and that will trigger demo mode on and off. So this is the full screen. It looks good. It looks good. It looks great because we're looking at it on Facebook right now. That yeah. looks amazing. All right. See, so like if you say, say there was nothing, right? So if somebody just wants to have the plain background, just mm -hmm. there because you guys have cool backgrounds, move away a little bit and then you guys can you see, <laughs> <laughs> right? If you just have it clean without yes. anybody yeah. there, mm -hmm. right? You can have right? it, right? Okay, yes. so let's go back into demo mode, shift command D, okay? So that is your waiting screen here, and so now we'll have a, a solo screen, mm -hmm. right? Very basic, so we can go through this very, very quickly. Um, start so back now we're leaving the overlays panel going back into the scenes panel and we're going to select new empty scene okay and it defaults to our camera and we're going to change new scene to solo we're going to speed this up we're going to speed, this, speed up. this up yes and we're going to select now we're back in overlays panel um, and showing current scene we had a new group and this will be uh, background Okay, and now command end. So the same thing, right? So we're gonna um, add a text background, text box, and change this to BKGND, and bring the opacity down to zero. Select background, let's do the Ecamm orange, and let's bring the margin up a bit, add that, bring it to the corner, it's like a the speed round. Resize that a little bit and take it from the corner and drag it over. And you know, mm -hmm. another way of doing the background situation mm -hmm. is hi, hide it for me, please. Yes. Okay, so another way, because I, I have the glass mouse, right? So you do the command N, you have the background. This is a low, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. You bring it here. And you have it there, right? Sometimes it works, sometimes right. it doesn't. So I just do the finger scroll up. Yeah. And, and it, it just, worked. Yeah, that worked. Right? It works. <laughs> so it is really easy. So you see with it, and this is also how we do the little uh, shapes that right. we're going to show you. Mm -hmm. now. But yeah, that's it. Nice and easy. Right. That's it. Okay. This one, and then yes. All right. Awesome. All right, so we have that, and then now it's as simple as that, right? You have your you have your text overlay for your camera. So now we're going to bring in a camera by going to the overlays panel and selecting new camera overlay. So we are here, right? And we can just resize ourselves however we want it to be. If you wanted to have the grid, the mm -hmm. grid is in the background. So the only thing you have to do is hide the background and do the shift command B, mm -hmm. shift command B to uh, add the source blank, and then right there, you have your grid right. to, to adjust it. So you did this by eyeballing it, look it. Yeah, but also too, what's helpful in Ecamm is that you have your, you have your, your snaps, right? You have your vertical snaps, so we know we're perfectly centered, right? Uh, and if you want, 
you could bring it down and you have the horizontal snap as well, right? So the, at least you have those features in Ecamm, mm -hmm. right? Which is great, right? But so this is like a standard solo screen. And real quick, if you're in the camera's overlay and then you click on the pencil here, you have your options here of changing your corner radius, right? So if you want it to be all square, um, your borders, you could add a border here. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want to. We're keeping it without building blocks colors. This is this looks fine. Or you could change it to white, for example, right? There you have it. It's as simple as that, mm -hmm. right? And and let's go into let's go into out of demo mode real mm -hmm. quick, and then do the edges so that they can see it bigger, right? Yeah. So so let's mm -hmm. go us behind the scenes. Right. So we're out of demo mode, and then let's do for instance the top ones, right? So the top is round, and we have the bottom. Just sharp edges. And then, wait, let me do this. Let me, mm -hmm. let me, oh. let me, so they can really see it. Mm -hmm. You see, <laughs> <laughs> right? You can really see the edges, how they're rounded. And yeah. then towards the end is um, sharp. You can do the same thing on the other side, like this, you see, and then you make that really cool shape. Yeah. Uh, so then you play. That looks good like that. Yeah. And then you play with the with a uh, border width afterwards, mm -hmm. right? After you see how it looks, so then you can go like that, like that, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Mm -hmm. You want me to leave it like that? Yeah, let's leave okay. it. This looks, this, look, this, this looks great. Okay, awesome. Okay. okay All right, so this is a standard basic solo screen, mm -hmm. right? So let's go back into uh, yeah, because demo. because we have six minutes before we answer questions. Oh my gosh, so, so Anna's <laughs> like, you know, like now on uh, like the doomsday clock is ticking, guys. You guys, okay. Polygen doesn't like when I brush him <laughs> at all. So he, yeah, but. <laughs> so this folder will be called camera, right? So we have one folder for camera, one folder for background. So this is basic with no lower thirds or anything like that, okay? So now you have that, yeah? So this is solo. Solo and lower third, for example, so you can you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can take the solo screen, the solo scene, and then from there you select this icon here, which will say duplicate current scene. Boom. So you have a copy of a solo, right? And you can rename this solo and lower third. Okay? So now you have something to work with because now all we need to do is add the lower third. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have a new group call this lower third, and we're going to do something just very, very basic, very, very basic. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have, so let me show you real quick before we go back in there. We're going to do this one. So, um, we already just created this one, mm -hmm. right? This is what we're going to design, but however, <laughs> However, we're, we're probably going to have to do this for two hours. No, but you guys, this is what we designed. So this is a text box, two text boxes and mm -hmm. a line in between, right. right? Say I wanted to just copy this and bring it to the next one, which is kind of like what I'm going to do. So you see right here, we have a folder that is named lower third, right? So oh, right here, it's named lower third, right? So we are going to click on that one, copy. Come back to lower command, third. Command C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Command C. And then paste. Command V. Command and then paste it. Mm -hmm. Right? We have it here. Now, how cool is that? Right? Mm -hmm. Really awesome. So what we're right. going to do now is adjust this. So the um, right here, we just click on the link. Right? And then we move it. Mm -hmm. To where we want to. Right. Awesome. Please let us know if you want us to explain how we made the lower third. Which we will um, later this week because yes. we have a tutorial for that specifically. Yes, okay? exactly. So right. that's, that's for now, this is how we created this one. Right. But there's another challenge that we're going to be dedicating to lower thirds. Right, yes. right. So let's let's hide let's hide this, right? I believe it's this one, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we, have, we can bring this into the lower third folder here. Let's bring out a camera. Get it out of there. <laughs> okay, doesn't want to. It just, it just hide it. Yeah, what's going on here? Come on. Okay, so let's leave it by itself, right? But if you just wanted to do something simple, um, under the lower third folder that we originally created, you could add a text and just type, let's say, first name, last name, first, last. Let's bring the opacity back up. 
Let's make it Helvetica standard. And then let's bring the margin down a little bit. And just as simple as that and hit add. And you have a lower third, right? So this is something just very, very basic, but you can add layers and we're going to go into more in depth later this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And this can go right into the L3 folder. Awesome. Okay. Great. And then, <laughs> all right, so first, you know what? We're going to show you this next one. It's going to be, is the interview mm -hmm. window. We created this one as well, right? And here we have the folders with layers. So this is the host three lower third. I'm going to hide it, right? It's all in his folder. Then we have the guest three lower third. Mm -hmm. It's all in his, fol in his folder. The cameras are out because we wanted to have a lower third show, right? If we put the camera above inside it it will hide the lower third and then the background as you can see i'm going to hide actually both cameras so you guys can see the background so the background has two squares and this is two shapes right right here so this one and this one okay and then th we just added our youtube um url there however you can add your own you replace it with your own and then that's the background I did. Okay. See the nice grid right there. Yes. Awesome. This is what we want you guys to design. So the challenge for this week is to design a new profile with at least three scenes in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have your waiting screen. If you want your waiting screen, your solo screen, if you, it's just you yourself. Mm -hmm. And then, um, if you want a closing, um, screen, or if you have guests, then you can design uh, a guest screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, these, um, lay uh, this uh, profile we created it and we're giving it to you guys for I said thank you right but it will be amazing if you guys did it yourself because look at this right let's show them the profile that we created that we changed the colors right and it's mm -hmm. the, sa the same ones right yep so we're going to go into interview profile two I believe it's one yeah. we're in one now this is one yeah mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so right. it's... Right, under two. Okay, okay. Right, because this is the one that we just created, right? So yeah. if we go under two now... Um, no, it's, it's, uh, it's profile one OG. OG, Yeah, right. it's OG. Sorry, you guys, right. we have to, like, rename things. Okay, so, right. So this was the original one. This mm -hmm. is the one, actually, that you guys are going to get. Right. This one. Mm -hmm. So waiting screen. Solo. Solo and lower third interview which we'll go into more detail later this week and closing which we'll go into more detail later this week as well so you see how different this looks than the one that we are on um all the way up uh, yes mm -hmm. uh, right right how different it looks look we just changed the colors Changing but it's colors. the same design yeah so this is what we want us want you to do to just play with your own colors and just add all of this great stuff and then share it in the community so that we can see it, okay? So now, um, for instance, before we go into questions, anything else? No, I think so. So we, 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 we have a basic, right? So we're going to go create like interview lower thirds, closing lower thirds later this week, right? So we have our waiting screen. You have a solo screen here, basic, and <laughs> a solo and lower third, right? Very basic. And we're going to jazz it up as we go along later this week. Yes, just it up. Okay, so let's go into questions. Let us see. Let's get out of demo mode first, right? Yes. So we're done with the demo mode for oh, now. Oh, man, we should have gone through all the scenes out of demo mode, but whatever, right? Oh, oh well, yeah, we, we can just do that real quick, right? So so what what I was doing as you were talking, right, uh, is just showing them like a, a, a comparison, right? So profile one, waiting screen, right? And then if you change the colors, well, this is this very, very similar, right? Mm -hmm. So solo, right? Solo with the, you know, you have your red and your gold and building then block building color. blocks colors versus this one, right? Does look, it does look different. Yeah. And solo and lower third building blocks colors versus solo and lower third. Very nice. Yes. And interview with building blocks colors versus interview alternate very cool but yeah it's a completely different so yeah yeah so and you, closing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. versus this one yes very cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes okay 
Yeah, add your personality to the challenge. Check yes. out Paul. I love it. Yes, okay. for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, okay, so we have a lot more feedback than we do questions. I believe everyone was following along. Okay. Um, oh, Sammy had a question earlier. Um, okay, so this is from our pro, our um, building blocks original. So we have a transparent background here. So let's bring it to the very, very bottom. Paul just over there in love with a transparent background. <laughs> How many scenes... Um, sh can I make with this challenge? Most of my shows, I only have five scenes. It's up to you. It's up to you. But but the but for the challenge, it's up to three scenes mm -hmm. in a new profile. So yes. up to three. So you are all set, Sammy. Yes. Yeah. More than more than all set. More than all set. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, um, the rosy the rosy orange color. Yes, it's so cute. It's right? so cute. It is really cool. Uh, I just duplicate my profiles. I, oh, no, Dave, I just duplicate me profiles <laughs> and then <laughs> delete all the scenes and throw it over. Yeah. And yep, that's yeah. that's a perfect strategy. Mm -hmm. Perfect strategy. Um, hello, Terry. Terry J. Good to see you on the YouTube side. Um, brilliant. Very cool. Awesome. Very good. Um, good uh, feedback going on here. Catherine W. Screen captures are your friend. Shift command three yes. or shift command four. And then good. you could do it manually. Um, okay. Countdown looks great. Thank you. This is where you find the grid. Yeah. And one thing that we didn't, mm -hmm. that we didn't mention was adding music to your countdown. Mm -hmm. That is super, super easy, you guys. So what you have to do real quick, because we, right. Mm -hmm. So, and on the countdown, so say we wanted to add, say this was, was our countdown, right. And we wanted to add music to it. We will go to... We will go to, let's get back to the interface. We will go to the music mm -hmm. and we just either add a folder, which is what we did. So we select the songs that we want mm -hmm. right here, right? We select the songs that we want. We create a playlist and then we add the playlist to this scene. Right. The entire folder or the, the individual song itself. Right. So if you have your countdown is longer than your music, then you add the entire folder so you don't have to worry about it, yeah. right? So then if you want actually, um, if you want actually the song to the, the music throughout the entire um, live stream mm -hmm. or pre-recorded content, the only thing you have to do is go into there and just play. Yeah. And it will just play through the entire live stream. Yeah. So there, there it is. Mm -hmm. Right now. Good morning. Okay. So there you go. All right. Continue, yes. Mr. Shift Command D, let's get back out of demo mode and let's see what else. Um, yes, Carmen loves the shortcuts. Very, yes, very good. Oh my gosh, the best. Yes. The best. Um, hello, <laughs> Dean. Yes, it's Monday morning. What the heck? D D yeah, go ahead. Dean, it's a, it's a challenge. It's a, the building blocks challenge for Ecamm 3.9, the new overlay features and the new profile features. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, and we're going to jazz it up mm -hmm. this week. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so we answered Ashley's uh, question. Good morning, Ashley. And how do I share my challenge? So you can share your challenge by using hashtag Ecamm Design Challenge. Yes. Right. And, and you share that in the Ecamm Live community. community. Yes. And we will actually make sure you use the hashtag so that we can collect them and have them, you know, because that's how we're going to find it. So make sure you use that hashtag. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Bishop. Was there a shift command function that Anna did? I missed it. Yes. Uh, thanks. So, right. So the shift shift command N okay. to create a new folder. Yes. Overlays folder, like mm -hmm. a new group. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's shift command N. Versus command N, which is to bring up the text overlays panel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so those are the two commands. And then we also do command C, command V for copy and paste. You could copy and paste the folder. You could copy and paste the scene and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And okay. then shift command D for live demo mode. Right. All that good stuff. Shift command D for live demo mode. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is there a keyboard shortcuts cheat seat? Yes. Ecamm does have a shortcuts uh, cheat sheet available. Yes, we, we will add it for you. But if you go to ecamm.com and you go to the search, you just type um, shortcuts and mm -hmm. that whole thing will come up. Yes, or keyboard shortcuts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, most common shortcut keys. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, that will be available in the in the shortcuts um, guide that yes. ecamm has available. Um, <laughs> when is the deadline? <laughs> <laughs> 
Sammy, those are all great questions, mister. Um, yeah, just, just add. So for design for the challenge one, just try adding it before next week so that we can see it, right? Yeah. So that's, that's the deadline. I guess we can say the deadline is Saturday. Yes. Yes? Okay, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And do we take a screenshot or a video? Um, it would be cool to show a video. Yeah, right? like especially, a demo mode. Right, demo mm -hmm. mode. Especially if you have animations, if you're adding animations to your um, to your challenge, to your scenes, that will yeah. be great. Great right? question, Carmen. Yeah, Okay. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy is ahead of the game. Yes, Sammy. Awesome. awesome. Can't wait to see it. Okay. Yes. And, right. we cover, and we already so covered the question of how do you add music. So yes. That's, that's yes. That. From Ashley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are catching the replay, just like Paul mentioned, feel free to leave your questions, any questions that you have, and we will come back and check them for you. Yeah. And so remember, the grid is in our Buy Me A Coffee. You can go on and download that. And the, um, this profile, this new profile, will be available for you, but we want you to try this first, mm -hmm. and then you can we will release it so that you can then have it and play even more with it. Yes, okay? absolutely. Right? And then uh, just a quick tip here. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Uh, just a quick tip here. So let's go back into shift command D. Let's go back into demo mode, right? So let's say your profile, right? Which is, remember, it doesn't necessarily have to be all of these folders. Right? This is all for, for demonstration purposes. But let's say you have you want your standard profile with a scene with this folder with your three scenes in this folder in this group here, right? And let's say you want to, uh, you know, create a, a backup for this, a backup yes. copy for your profile, mm -hmm. or for some odd reason, you don't have uh, AirDrop or iCloud. I don't know why, <laughs> but you may, you may not have those things, right? And you want to transfer it to another computer or another Mac, right? So once you're done with your profile, you simply go up to profile and you, it's not uh, available for us because we're live. But under new blank, duplicate, export, export current profile. So it will export a file with your scenes, your overlays, everything will be there. And you could transfer that to another computer or email it or whatever you want to do with that. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, mm -hmm. alternatively, alternatively, uh, alternatively, you can highlight the the folder highlight the folder that you want to export and then click export right but what that will do it will um that's going to be a different file that'll be a scene file versus the uh, profiles no <laughs> trust me it doesn't that's the way i sent you yours um right but then um if you there they'll, they'll be she'll tr try both ways you'll see like the the, the, the file name will be a little bit different It'll be Let's a profile. Let's do this right now. Mm -hmm. So, Ecamm Challenge Profile 1. I'm going to export. It's going to prompt me. We're going to go to mm -hmm. desktop. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to name it. Um, what do I name it? Oh, actually, no. We have to name it over here first. So, I'm going to do here um, uh, export so that we know because I have another one there. And then we're going to select, make sure that the folder is, is selected. You're going to click, and then we're going to select desktop, export. Okay, so now let me find it right here. Export, you see it right here? Mm -hmm. All right, the moment of truth. Is it truly one? <laughs> no, well, that's that's going to work because it's going to load the scenes, right? But the right. profile, there are other settings in there, right? So, like, you know, no system preferences and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, those might not necessarily transfer in the scenes backup versus the profiles backup because there's Got more it. to the profile than just the scenes itself, the scenes and the overlays. So, we that's will why check that that's a really right, good thing to check. Right, because, like, I, and I know, if, um, you know, from just, you know, downloading profiles before or mm -hmm. exporting them, right. um, there are other settings that may not transfer over if you just do it the way that you're doing that with the scenes. Okay. So try so both ways. That. Try both ways. Mm -hmm. I will check that out yeah. as well yeah. and see what's up because we, when we transfer it, when I transfer it to you, it mm -hmm. transfers everything. Right. Right. Yeah. So then, but not necessarily like the scene, like the settings itself. Right. So like virtual camera, um, you know, uh, right. So okay, font, okay, font, okay, okay. font families, right. So font family might not necessarily correspond with the scene. Got right. It. So okay. it's a pro the overall profile. We will check that. Okay. We will check that because that will be a really good thing to know. Right. Because when we are export when we're exporting it, we export it this way. Right. So we gotta make sure right. that's true. Right. Yeah. So um, okay. so lately, um, and that's why, like, just from just 
experience. Like lately, I've been exporting the overall profile, which has like fun families and everything like that. So okay, we'll try we will check that. Ways. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, make sure. both. we will mm-hmm. definitely check that because mm-hmm. that's really important, yes. especially if you're doing your profile and you have all the mu- songs in yes. there yes. and you want everything to be kept. So that would be a great thing to check. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to mm-hmm. check it and then I will comment to see if it worked out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. So anything else that we need? I think we covered it. So we're going to go to a lot more this week. Mm -hmm. Overlays, lower thirds, animations. It's going to be a fun week. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't wait to see what you guys uh, create. Right. And then uh, add it to add it to with the hashtag. Ecamm design challenge. And also if you um the how you arrange your interface with the uh, uh, color palette mm-hmm. and the font family right. and all of that. We would like to see that as well because at the end of the of, of the challenge, I mean, who knows? Ecamm Live, you know, they like giving things out. So maybe you will get something right. for that. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Who was that? We can't see you guys. I, Katie. I, I, Katie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Katie. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Everybody, thank you so much. If you don't have any other questions, right? Yeah. You, you are so welcome. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And make sure you do all your scenes so that we can see them, okay? Yes. yes. All right. See you tomorrow. Challenge two. Anahil. Fulton Henry. Okay. Cool. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. <laughs>